Hello viewers, I am Mr. Manoj Kumar from India, speaking to make you clear about a God, no, the God of the Gods, God Shiva, a transcending character with symbolizing all where his face. Let us see what does this symbolism implies in Hinduism. The entire universe picture can be drawn in the form of a linga. You can see the picture. There is one linga that is the male gender and yoni it represents a shakti that is the female right yoni. So and downwards you can see that there is the existence of evaluation creator and preserver Brahma, Vishnu and Sasti. It is quite interesting to know this symbolical analysis of Shiva, the God of Gods. Why do I say the God of Gods? Because all other demigods inside him, it is he who is the symbol of Panchabhutas and ten senses in our body. It is he who represents the whole universe inside him. Whatever in the universe, cyclically moving, the plants, the life, the birth cycle, the death cycle, everything, the creation and destructions are being held by him. So, being a controller of all life, from time immemorial to time to end, it is he who controls. That's why he is called as Pasupati, Shiva Pasupati. All the sensations upon all the matter, from tiny matter to any huge matter in the universe, are being mechanized, modified, and sensitized by him. He is titled as Mrutunjai. That means, who you know what is death, and death cannot touch him. He has no birth, no death. So he is God. So he is God. He is called as Aprameya, means the sensation cannot catch him. The radiations, all other things, whatever, the energy moves, moves from him, moves to him. That's why he is the center of all sources of energy, all deaths and birth, all creation and destruction, a premeya, invisible and formless figure. See, in this picture, Shiva and Shakti, Linga and Yuni are two <coughs> representations of male and female and their interaction or intercourse will lead to the creation creation of all birds, animal, human, from bacteria to Brahma, everything is created by these two forces and finally all these things ends in them, Shiva and Shakti. See the Linga, it has no face, that means it has faces, all sides, so he is called as Tatpurusha, Ishana, Bamadevo, Sajjajato, Aghoro, five faces. Some of the opinion that he is formless, he is the sky, the sky which is on your head, the sky which is from here to your head, everywhere, okay? And Parvati or Shakti is said to be the entire nature that is around us, the moon, the sun, the mountains, the rivers, the plants, the forest, the animals, all whatever changes are being taking place around you are because of the intercourse of Shiva and Shakti.